Eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, as you gladdened the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your Son, so by his presence now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Kip and Mackenzie, and grant that even as they rejoice in your gifts this day, so too they may celebrate with Christ the marriage feast which has no end. Amen. Our big day is finally here. This wedding planning process has been nothing short of hard. From the planning to the canceling to the replanning, it has been a wild ride. Crazy to think we finally made it with all the roadblocks it took to finally get here. We planned a wedding reception and canceled it. Lost a wedding ring, but found it. And the many other things that I don't need to remind you of right now. But we both had said time and time again, we don't care how this wedding turns out, we just want to be husband and wife. Six years ago at that Bowling Green Halloween party, I never realized the journey we would go on together. We have grown so much over the past six years. Who would have thought the zombie that I met at a Halloween party in college would become the love of my life? I never would have believed that crazy 19-year-old boy would grow into the strong, hardworking, and loving man that will be waiting for me at the end of the altar. I love your drive, your drive to be your best at home, your best at work, and to be the best at loving me. You make sure I always feel safe and taken care of, you feel like home. I never realized that I could love anyone as much as I love you. Oh jeez, oh peace. <laughs> as I wait to get my first look at you walking down the aisle, I am thinking of all the special times that we have spent together. I know you are going to look absolutely stunning today. We make a promise to God in front of our family and friends to spend the rest of our lives together. Your strong will and passion to succeed give me no doubt that we can survive anything that life throws at us. I love that over the past six years, I have not faced any of life's challenges without your unconditional love and support. Even on the days I have struggled and the future seems so uncertain, and we both know I have struggled hard this year, not once did I have to walk alone. I love you forever, Kib. We sat in a bar one time in college, and I told you this was the best day ever. But today is going to be the new best day ever. So Kenzie, Let's make this happen and become husband and wife. And now, dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and before his church to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy marriage.
Kip, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of marriage as God has ordained it? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be husband to her as long as you both shall live? Then say, I will. I will. And Mackenzie, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? to live together in the holy estate of marriage as God has ordained it. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be wife to him as long as you both shall live? Then say, I will. Dear friends, God has joined these two as one. And so now we give our thanks to God as we show our love and our support for Mr. and Mrs. Kip and Mackenzie McCann. <laughs> Julie and Kevin McKay! 